Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you guys how I make baby food for my daughter. Today I will be making zucchini, carrots, and banana. <laughs> zucchini, carrots, and bananas. Alright, so the first thing that I do when I am making baby food is obviously I peel and I cut up whatever it is I need to do. Today I was making zucchini, um, so I peeled the skin off of the zucchini and I chopped them up into kind of like medium sized pieces. I also did the same thing with um, I think a three quarters of a carrot. I didn't use a whole carrot. Um, so I chopped them up a little bit smaller than I did the zucchini because uh, carrots take a little bit longer because they're a little harder. So the next thing that I do is I either boil or I steam her food. Today because it wasn't a huge batch I decided to just boil it to make it a lot easier for me. So I just took out a small pot, put some water in it and I waited until it was boiled and then I put in the vegetables. I let it boil for about 20 minutes maybe. When it's all finished, I just uh, poked it with a fork to make sure that my fork went all the way through. Right now I'm working on giving my daughter food that has a little bit more texture to it, not so watered down. She's doing a really good job at eating foods with a lot more texture. So that is why I'm just going to mash it up. It depends on what it is. Sometimes I'll blend it up, sometimes I'll mash it up. It just depends, but today I'm just gonna mash it up. And then once I finished with that, then I decided I wanted to add in a banana just for a little bit more taste. And my daughter likes when things taste good. So I always need to add in something a little bit more flavorful and less bland. I know the carrots have their own, you know, taste you know sweet little taste to it added in a half of a banana I mashed that up first and then I added it into and I mixed it around all right so the next thing I do is I am going to now scoop out the food and put them in these in these ice trays I love these ice trays because as you can see when you flip them over they have these like soft bottoms where you can just push them out and they're so much easier to come out of the trays. I really like these. I got these from Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box if you guys are interested in Yeah, so once I've scooped those in the trays, then I just cover it up and I pop it in the freezer until the next day. The next day, I just um, pop them out and I put them in a freezer bag and I just label it with what it is and I put the date on it and I pop it back in the freezer. When I'm ready to use one of the baby foods that I have frozen, I usually take it out days in advance, maybe two, maybe one or two days in advance and I just let it thaw out in the fridge and when I know I'm going to feed it to her I would take it out of the fridge maybe a few hours before and just kind of let it thaw out a little bit on the counter or I pour some hot water in a bowl let it do that or if I'm in a rush I just pop it in the microwave to be honest with you um, but yeah so that is how I make my baby food um, well this is just one of the ways I make my baby food if you guys are interested in seeing how I make other things for my baby then give this video a thumbs up and I will be happy to film that thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys on my next upload bye